Hello everyone, welcome to Extreme Rate YouTube channel. In this video, we will show you how to install the LED kit on the DualSense controller, Gen BDM040. Let's light up both the controller and the gaming. First let's get the LED kit prepared and check if you have all the necessary parts before the process. Then let's open the controller. Use the spudger to remove the left and the right bumpers. Then pry the seam to unleash the clips and remove the front cover. Next use the screwdriver to remove the screws on both bumpers. Please remember to keep track of each removed screws in the whole process, cause they are varied in place and size. Then remove the two screws on the bottom of the grips. Use the spudger to disengage the two clips fastening the front and back housings. And pry the seam full way around to release the back housing. and remove the back housing and put it aside. Next we need to remove the battery. Unplug the battery cable and remove the battery. Then remove the back microphone from where it is. Remove the two screws on the vibration modules and the screw locking the battery tray. Remove the battery tray. Then remove these four ribbon cables attached to the main board. For the smaller one, we can use a tape to help remove it. After the cables are removed, carefully lift the midframe out of the front plate. Remove two thumbsticks and replace them with the two in the kit.
After installing the thumbsticks, we need to release the board from the mid-frame. Carefully lift the motherboard out and release it from the mid-frame. Then move to the front side and install the LED FPC on the controller. First put the yellow part through the seam. And then cover it on the original FPC contacts. Next we need to reattach the main board to the mid-frame. And use the tape to fix the board. Then align and cover the FPC to the original one. Check the holes and make sure the FPC is correctly installed. Then let's move to the front cover. First remove the membranes on the buttons and speaker. Remove the action buttons. Create button, option button, logo button, and the directional buttons. Then install the buttons in the LED kit in the corresponding place. and reinstall the button membranes. Next remove the tape on the main board and reassemble the board to the front cover. Please make sure the speaker is correctly installed in place. Then reinstall the surrounding ribbon cables to the mainboard. Reinstall the battery tray. And reinstall the back microphone. Then screw down both vibration modules and the battery tray. After fastening the mid-frame and the front cover, press and test if all the buttons are working.
Next we need to deal with the power cables. First put the vibration motor cables close to the gap. Then place the LED cable connector right stuck to the gap. Plug in the LED cable to the battery connector. Then carefully fold and place the rest cables into the gap. Bend the FPC and place both connectors right stuck in the gap. Arrange the cables and use the tape in the kit to fix them. Make sure the tape fixes the cables, and if necessary, put on more tape to better fix all the cables. Next let's connect the battery. Before plugging in, we can bend the battery cable to the connector's direction. Then plug in the cable and install the battery on the tray. Reinstall the back cover on the controller and press the edge to make the clips engaged. Then lock the screws at the bottom of the grips. And lock the screws on the bumpers. Then reinstall the bumpers. And in the last, reinstall the front trim cover to finish the whole process. About the setting, please watch the guide at the end of the video.
Thanks for watching the video and we hope you enjoy the modding journey with Extreme Rate.